Thank you. May I now invite the International Federation of Journalists to take the floor, please. On behalf of the International Federation of Journalists, I want to address the failure of Iran to end harassment of BBC Persian journalists as highlighted by the oral update. I am one of those journalists. For almost a decade, we have suffered a campaign of harassment and persecution solely because we work for the BBC Persian. Our families in Iran also have been threatened, arrested, detained, uh, interrogated, spied on, and banned from travel. Last year, the Iranian authorities announced um, a criminal investigation into 152 current and former BBC Persian staff and frozen our assets. Last, um, last year, we have made an urgent appeal to the UN, a special report was on Iran, and on freedom of expression, they made a joint communication to Iran in October 2017, and Iran has failed to properly respond. Instead, Iran attacked the credibility of the late uh, special rapporteur and launched a political attack on the BBC's credibility and independence. Iran has failed to engage properly with this council and continue to target our journalists. The criminal investigation goes on and our assets remain frozen. We are being collectively investigated and punished for the crime of working for the BBC. But journalism is not a crime. We call upon this council and High Commissioner for Human Rights to raise concerns with Iran about its treatment of journalists and our families. Thank, Thank you very much. International Service for Human Rights, you have the floor now, please. I was conscious of that. Thank you, Vice